Today, we're speaking with Carolyn Everson, president of Everson Company, and she's going to be sharing her tips for minimizing conflict in the boardroom. The first tip is to be very clear. Make sure you really understand what's at stake on that agenda item. Is there an irreversible decision being made? How important is it to make sure this conflict is not left unresolved? In some cases, but not all, be careful, it may be useful to have a pre-conversation with some of the members of your board prior to the agenda being brought to the meeting. But be very careful not to attempt to sway their views, but instead use these conversations to make sure that your director has all the facts, they understand what's at stake, and that you understand their position. And also make sure that you really lighten your agenda for that meeting so that you're not rushed or feel stressed by that. Realistically, a difficult issue is going to take more time. And so just make sure that a difficult issue has enough time on your agenda. My second tip is for you to be very confident. And I've got a couple of hints that maybe can help you feel more confident in these situations. First of all, prepare your own introductory remarks so you can carefully introduce the topic for discussion. This gives you a chance to perhaps offer some ground rules or principles for discussion. It gives you a chance to clarify some of the facts in front of the board. And it also gives you an opportunity to perhaps pose some thoughtful questions as part of your opening remarks that really encourage your board of directors to be balanced and neutral in how they address their position on this issue. To facilitate the conversation, particularly if it's getting a little bit tricky, remember you can always ask questions of the group. Your ability to ask very thoughtful and carefully constructed questions that encourage them perhaps to be more specific in their responses can be very, very useful in moving the discussion forward. My third tip is to encourage you to remain calm. Your ability to stay dispassionate about the discussion will really help not only the debate but the degree of respect in the room. Once the group makes a decision, you need to provide a calm perspective on the impact that's actually been made. Likely some will be upset or disappointed and try to keep them focused on the outcome and to keep that in perspective. It's also very useful to follow up with key members of the board that may need some sort of a pep talk or a simple thank you after the meeting. Thank everyone for being present and for their thoughtful contribution and remind them that even though personalities and viewpoints may differ on issues like this, everyone is investing their time and expertise to the betterment of the board on behalf of all members.